So today's video is going to be a wax melt haul. I haven't done one of these since last year because I haven't bought any. I've got a lot, way more than I probably will ever get through. But uh, April from Pumpy Castle Scents um, did a pre-order earlier in the year for USA um, uh, we call it fragrances that we can't get here in Australia. That pre-order has since closed now and I got my order yesterday and I am so excited because surprisingly enough even though April and I are friends and I order from her frequently for some reason I've never ordered in the USA pre-orders I don't know why but this time I was determined I was gonna do it so I did so let's jump into my order now I did get some freebies with this order um, and if you can hear kind of whirring noise in the background, I apologize, it's the air conditioning. Uh, it's hot as hell here in Brisbane, even though we're officially in autumn, like autumn started for us on the 1st of March. You would never know we were in autumn. It feels like we are in the dead middle of summer. It is just disgusting. So <laughs> I apologize, but I cannot do this without the aircon on because I would die. Um, but let's get into uh, my order. So I did get freebies with my order. Um, you always get freebies with your orders that you place through Pumpkin Castle Scents. Um, so what I do when I receive these orders is I actually write down the scent notes for everything. So that way I can tell you guys what the scent notes are. So I have my list. Of scent notes here for everything that I've got. So let's start with the first freebie I got. It is called Jalapeno Colada. It just looks like this. Now I personally do not like jalapeno peppers. Don't like them. But this smells amazing. It's smells like a pina colada. So obviously that's what it is but it, then it has a very like kind of like not like an in your face spice to it but it has a kick to it which would be the jalapeno peppers but it smells really good and it smells actually kind of like like fruity creamy but also just like really summery to me so the scent notes on this one are jalapeno pepper Rum notes, pineapple juice, citron, coconut cream, coriander, vanilla bean, and iced musk. And I mean, it smells exactly like a pina colada just with a spicy cake to it. I don't know what else to say about this one. It smells really good though. Um, the next one I have is this one. This one is called Beautiful. And this is the Estee Lauder Perfume Dupe. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of Estee Lauder's Beautiful Perfume. It is floral, and I like florals, but there's just some florals I don't care for, and this is one of them. And I, I'll tell you why. It's because it's got jasmine in it. <laughs> jasmine just triggers, it triggers me. Um, jasmine sets off my allergies like nobody's business. Funny enough though, not in a melt, but the actual jasmine flower in real life does. Go figure, but the scent of the jasmine just, I just don't like it. Um, so this one, it's got like a butteriness, like a warmness to it, which I do like, but the jasmine I feel is the most, um, like the strongest note in this which is what kind of makes me not like it but I think what I'm going to do when I melt this is is I have um uh vanilla because I buy just plain vanilla to blend stuff with and I might mix in some vanilla to turn down that floral because I feel like that would be a better mix with this but the centers on this one are fruity floral notes of melon and crisp carnation followed by a floral bouquet of rose and jasmine. That's another thing I don't like is rose. 
never liked a rose scent. Um, with deep plum and buttery vanilla notes. So I feel like because it already has that warm sort of vanilla note to it, if I add more vanilla, it should tone down the floral to it. So we'll see. There's that. The next one I have is Jack Skellington. And I'm just going to say it. I hate the Nightmare Before Christmas movie. I know it's an unpopular opinion because like everybody loves that movie, but I hate it. I hate that movie. I don't know what it is about this movie, but I just hate it. There's not a single thing about that movie that appeals to me. Um, also, I hate claymation. <laughs> it's just like, I can't. Like I know a lot of work goes into claymation, so I respect that aspect of it, but I just hate claymation. And I just, hate Nightmare Before Christmas. Don't see the appeal to it. Um, but ugh, I love the Jack Skellington melt though. Mm, this is amazing. And this to me is such an autumn scent or like a Halloween-y type scent. Excuse that. If you heard that, I live quite close to a train station and it sounds like a diesel is going through. Oh, but this smells amazing. So this is right up my alley, the scent for this one. Um, so the scent notes on this one is white pumpkin eggnog. And that's another thing that's actually funny is I hate eggnog. So, so far there's been a lot that I hate. <laughs> um, but the funny thing is, is I like, I love all of the, like the scent so far. I mean, I'm not going to say I love the beautiful scent, but I don't fully hate it. But like, I do not like the to taste of like eggnog. I hate it. It just, like, it tastes so disgusting to me. But my little brother and my stepdad love eggnog. I cannot. And it, my mum's the same. She's just like, your stepdad and your brother are both feral. She's like, I don't know how they drink that stuff. It's just putrid. And I agree, it is. It's so disgusting. But I love the eggnog smell when it's mixed with, like, pumpkin. It just, it gives it such a warm creamy sort of like scent to like the pumpkin because the pumpkin is kind of like earthy bakery sort of scent and ugh, I just love this. I love it. So good. Um, the next one I have is Prada Candy which is the Prada Candy perfume juice which is this. Um, it's been a hot minute since I actually smelled the perfume of this like literal years and I don't remember what the actual perfume smells like so I can't tell you if it smells exactly the same because I can't remember for the life of me but it smells like it's sweet because I know obviously Prada candy is supposed to be sweet kind of almost like a lot like candy um and this is sweet, but it does have a warm note to it. And like, almost like, um, I'm trying to think what you would call it. I don't want to say bakery because it's not quite bakery, but like that warm kind of like foodie sort of type smell almost. I don't know. It's really nice. I like this one. The scent on this one is decadent dark almond infused with a central quarter of vanilla, exotic myrrh, and warm caramel. That's what it is. It's the warm caramel that gives it that kind of warmth to it. Um, elegant musk interwoven with sandalwood. Sandalwood, it would also be like turning the sweetness down, creates a luxury base. So that is that one. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Someone was texting me. Um, like I'm finished work for the day, obviously, but like work texts me like just nonstop. Um, the next one I have is this one. Um, all my other samples have been the cute little pumpkins, um, but this one is four little squares. So this one is just cake, almond, and coconut. And that's exactly what it smells like to me. Cake, almond, and coconut. I don't have the scent notes for this one because I couldn't find scent notes for this one, but I felt like that was pretty self-explanatory, like cake, almond, and coconut. And oh my god, does it smell amazing. 
Mm, smells so good. So this does smell like um like a cake, but also has that coconutty um like creamy sort of scent to it. But the strongest scent in this is the almond, and I love almond. And I feel like people either love almond or hate it. Like I love it. My sister hates it. Almond to me kind of has like that cherry type of scent to the like to it. But mm, this is amazing. And then the last freebie I got is like a little mini brittle bag. Um, it's bourbon and uh, bourbon cola and strawberry, and it just looks like this. Like I said, it's a little brittle bag, and this smells insane, you guys. Oh, this smells so good. Like to be honest with you, I'm not getting the strawberry at the moment i feel like the strawberry will come through when it, when it like warms but um the bourbon cola actually it's more the cola part of the bourbon cola is the most strongest element you get that very sort of effervescence like bubbly sort of cola scent to this and oh, it just smells so good i cannot wait to melt that one okay so that was all of the freebies that I got I actually got quite a lot this time so thank you April for that I really appreciate that so let's get into my actual USA pre-order these are can I not catch a break with filming today first we've got like the train now we've got a small aircraft over. <laughs> I do live quite close to um, an airfield and uh, a lot of like the private um, small planes and private jets and stuff um, land and take off from that airfield so they do fly over the top of my house um, so I really yeah there's not much I can do about it but let's get back into what I was talking about um, so my USA pre-order I am so excited because this is my very first one you guys um, so how it works is, is when April does a pre-order for USA Scents, she will pick a fragrance oil website based in the USA and she will create a post on her VIP page or her um, store's business page with the link to that site and then you go through all of the fragrance oils on that site and you pick as little or as many as you want and she will purchase them and then um, once they arrive in Australia she creates your order for you. You do have to take in mind though that a pre-order does take a big chunk of time because what she has to do is, is she leaves the window for you to order for several weeks so that you know everyone can order and then once she once that window closes she places the order and she does have to use a parcel forwarding service because we are in Australia and most American companies just don't ship to Australia. So she does use a parcel forwarding service. So she has to wait till it gets shipped to parcel forwarders, then from the parcel forwarders to Australia, which does take some time. And then she physically creates everyone's orders. Now, April is also only one person running this entire company of hers. And so she does all of this on her own. Her husband and her mother-in-law do help, um, but April is the one that runs it all. So just keep in mind that pre-orders do take a bit of time. So if you want something really quick, this is not for you. Um, so let's get into everything that I ordered. Um, so the first one I have here is called Aspen Winter. This is a Bath and Body Works dupe and it just looks like this. And I also love all of the little label pictures that April has picked out for all of the scents that I picked because obviously these aren't standard scents that you find on her website all the time. These are just a one-off so I love the like that touch. Now let's smell this one. So I like the snap bars. You can get clamshell snap bars and pot shots. I, when I'm buying like bars like this, I prefer, like big amounts, I prefer the snap bars 
over a clamshell because the snap bars are easier to store than a clamshell is. Um, oh, this smells so good. This smells wintry, but then also citrusy and sort of like fresh, but also like warm, if that makes sense. That's probably the worst description ever, but it really does. Oh, it smells so good. So this one has orange, lemon, cherry, clove, cinnamon, vanilla, and musk in that. And that is such an accurate description. I am picking up more on the cherry and like the orange and lemon. Um, like that's the most sort of like dominant sense in this. If I'm looking down, it's because my notes are just here. Um, but yeah, I, that smells so good. And I knew based on what I picked that I was going to love all of these, even though I'd never smelled any of them. And I've also never smelled the Bath and Body Works version of Aspen Winter either. Then the next one I have is, let me find it. I'm trying to run down the list that I have and do it in order of the way I wrote it. Okay, it is uh, Apple Red Orchard, which is a Yankee Candle dupe. I actually <laughs> snapped this in half when I pulled it out of the box, but it's fine. So this one's got um, super cute orchard, apple orchard picture on it. And like I said, this is a Yankee Candle dupe. And oh my God, this smells phenomenal. Oh, I could smell this all day. This does smell like an apple orchard, but the apple is not like, super in your face which I love it because it's got like a warmth to it so this particular one the scent description for this is think delicious apple fritters with apples you just picked from your backyard orchard warm buttery notes and subtle nutmeg cinnamon and of course sweet apples and that is so perfect of a description for this it smells amazing I've never had the Yankee Candle version of this as well, so I've never smelled it, but I feel like if the Yankee Candle version doesn't smell like this, then we've got some issues because this smells amazing. <laughs> so the next one I have is Farmer's Market, which is also a Yankee Candle dupe. So that is what this one looks like. And again, this is another amazing scent. This, what's weird about this is I can smell peaches in this, but I can almost smell like a banana smell, but there is no banana in this. Um, so whatever the scent, like the scent combinations are giving me that kind of banana smell to this, but this has a very... subtly like sweet scent to it it's like not an in your face sweet but it's there and it's like fruity and a tiny bit spicy like just a tiny bit like I guess that's probably what a farmer's market would probably smell like so the scent notes on this one is an early morning autumn stroll through the local farmer's market could bring about scents of plump juicy peaches, hints of cinnamon, and spice and candy berry jams, which, yeah, that's so accurate. I've never ever smelt that one in Yankee Candle either. Okay, the next one I have is Harvest. So Harvest is also a Yankee Candle dupe, and it just looks like this. And I love seasonal and like foody type scents, which is why I picked all of these. And oh my god, this smells amazing! Mm, this smells so good. This is just like autumn, like what I imagine autumn smells like in a place that actually gets autumn. <laughs> Oh, this smells so good. This has um, that warm sort of spicy cinnamon, um, kind of just like, I don't know, like that warm autumn scent that like I just imagine all places that have autumn smell like. So the scent notes on this are cinnamon, apple, 
and pumpkin notes in a musky base and yeah that's really accurate this is going to be so good melting it this autumn for sure the next one i have is maple buttered waffles um and that is the super cute picture on it and i have not eaten a waffle in years but i love waffles and this smells exactly like a delicious maple buttered waffle you get that kind of like almost like that warm bakery note from the waffle but it's the sweetness of the maple syrup oh it smells so good you guys so this one is sweet maple syrup fresh buttered waffles and that's exactly exactly what this smells like I am so glad I ordered this one because this smells amazing. The next one I got is candied yams, which is this. Now, there is no such thing as candied yams in Australia. We don't do that. Obviously, you guys in America tend to do that at, I believe it's Thanksgiving time, mostly, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that's not a thing here in Australia. And to be honest with you, I don't think most Australians would eat that because they would look at that and be like, um, you've got marshmallows with like sweet potato, basically. Uh, people like, here in Australia would be like, that's gross. Me personally, I'm like, yes, that just makes sense. <laughs> but I ordered it because I thought that would be a unique scent because like I said, I've never had that before. Um, it smells amazing yeah it's got like a very um oh, what's the word i'm thinking of it's kind of the same sort of scent to like pumpkin like that sweet potato -y scent and it's got a very like gooey marshmallowy sort of scent to it as well and like marshmallow tends to have like a creamy note to it um, which this has and I think that, that creamy note kind of turns the sweet potato scent down a little bit and it just mixes so well but it invokes like just warmth so really excited for that and it has like a sweetness to it as well so yes um the next one I never know how to pronounce this is it dulce de leche or is it dolce de leche I don't know but anyway it is what it is. That's what I've got. This is also not a thing in Australia. Um, because based on the way, and like, don't get offended here because I'm not trying to offend anyone, but based on the way I've seen people make this like, actual food in real life, it's, it's literally caramel. I'm not trying to be offensive, but like, it's literally the same way you guys make this. It's the same way we make caramel in Australia. So, yes. But, not complaining because I love it. And, oh, this has, I don't want to say burnt because it's not burnt scent, but you know when you, like, caramelize sugar and it kind of gets that, like, I don't know what the term is called because it's not burnt because it doesn't smell like burning but like almost like that almost kind of like a burnt smell but not I know that's a really terrible way of describing this but like I think you get what I mean and then just just sugary and caramelly and sweet and just amazing um this one is sugar fresh milk and brown sugar which I would say is pretty accurate uh the next one i have is vermont maple syrup which is this one i thought this one um would be like a very like warm kind of sweet scent that i would love and it absolutely is it smells like a maple syrup and sugar and warmth. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what that smells like to me. It smells amazing. The sentence on that one is just mapley and sweet. 
and that's exactly what it smells like. Uh, the next one I have is Warm Apple Crisp, which is this one here. Like I said, I'm a sucker for a foodie scent, and I love like anything with apple in it. And this smells so good. The first thing you get is the apple. And this one almost smells like a Granny Smith apple. And I know people probably think that's weird, but I absolutely can tell the difference in red apples and green apples, like the scent, because they are vastly different. Red apples are sweeter and green apples are a little bit more crisper and bitter. And you do tend to use, I find, well, a lot of people do green apples more in like baking, like apple pies and crisps and things like that. And this to me smells like a more crisper apple, not as like sweet as say like a Red Delicious or a Jazz or a Pink Lady or like, you know, all of those like red apples. This smells like a Granny Smith for sure. And then... That bakery note is not as prominent in this one. Like, say for instance, like when you have like an apple pie scent, you do get that very warm, buttery bakery note to it. And like this has it, but it's super subtle. The apple is like the most dominant scent in this one. Uh, the scent notes on this are cinnamon, apple, flaky brown sugar, dry down. That's what the, the description for that one is. And it smells really good actually. The apple almost has like a freshness to it, but then it has that warmth of like that pastry sort of note. Uh, the next one I have is called Craft Store, which I thought was super cute. When I saw that, I was like, I have to get that because I love a good craft store. So this just looks like a Christmas or like, let me have a look. I can kind of see Christmas trees on the top, but I also see pumpkins. So it just looks like a mixture of like seasonal decor in like Michaels or something. That's what it looks like. And this one, I honestly had no idea what this one was going to smell like. Like at least with the other ones, you kind of get an idea based on like the scent description. And like obviously based on the scent description, I can tell what this is as well but like for instance if you think of like a warm apple crisp you're thinking like apple pie type of scent but when you think craft store you're like what does that smell like <laughs> um it smells amazing it's fruity and spicy because like you get the like the sweetness of a fruit and it's not like a candy sweetness it's more of a fruit sweetness and there is definitely a difference between those two but you get spices almost like an incense but not an incense in a bad way but there's spiciness to it so this one the center is fruit berries subtle spices and wood cabin memories and actually that spiciness and how i said kind of smells like almost like a an incense it would be the wood cabin yeah, it smells exactly like that. And I feel like that is so perfect. And I'm glad I got the craft store one. Okay, the next one I have is Indian Harvest. And this one, I love the little image that April picked for this one. It's like um, little rainbow corns or glass corns or gem. I think they're called glass corns or gem corns. Sorry about that. My camera caught me up. Um, this... Indian Harvest I knew that I would love. So let's open this one. This one's great. This one smells pumpkin-y. It kind of has a, it's got a spicy note to it. I'm just trying to think. I think it's clove. Yeah, so it's got like a clove note to it. So it's like, it's warm. It's got a pumpkin note to this. It's got a clove note to this. A little bit of a sweetness to this as well. 
I love it. It smells amazing. It's kind of actually uh, similar to Harvest by Yankee Candle. Not quite the same, but kind of similar. Uh, this one has apple, pumpkin, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, and clove, which I feel like that's definitely very accurate. The ginger and clove is what's giving it that warm kind of spiciness to it. And the apple is what's giving the sweetness to it. But the nutmeg and the cinnamon is giving the warmth. And I just love pumpkin because, like, who doesn't love pumpkin? Okay. And then the very, very last one I ordered was pumpkin and candied figs. And I've never smelt that as a scent combination before. So super intrigued. But to be honest with you, if it's got pumpkin in it, I'm literally likely to buy it. Because, like, I love pumpkin. So, excuse my yawning. I'm so tired. Let's see what this one smells like. Delightful. This smells like pumpkin, definitely. Vanilla. There's a sweetness in this as well. There's a warmth to this, and there's also like a very buttery sort of note to this as well. I don't know what fig smells like. I've never had a fig before, so I don't know. Like, is obviously I know fig is like a fruit, but like, is it sweet? Like, does it have a sweet scent to it? I literally don't know. Or is it more of a fruity scent to a fig? I have no idea. Tell me down below what a fig smells like, because <laughs> I've never had fig before. This smells delightful. It kind of smells similar to almost like a maple pumpkin bread scent, but then with extras added in, if that makes sense. So the scent notes on this one are sugar cane, brown sugar, fig, currant, pumpkin, clove, cinnamon, vanilla, benzoin, and nutmeg. I don't know what benzoin is. I probably sound so stupid right now, but I have no idea what that is, so I don't know what that's supposed to smell like. Um, but that smells amazing. It definitely smells like that. I'm wondering if that kind of sweetie, almost like a fruity note is a fig that I'm sensing, but I don't know because like, I don't know what fig smells like. But anyway, that was it. That was my entire USA pre-order. I only ordered 12 things. I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, because I have a lot already, so I ordered 12. Now, quickly, uh, when April does these USA pre-orders, if you only wanted to order one item, you only have to order one item. There is no minimum on these orders, which I think is amazing that she does that. Um, now, I think she only does them about twice a year, so you'll just have to keep an eye out for them. I love that I was able to participate and order in this USA pre-order, but like, because like I said before, I've never done that before. I don't know why, I've just never done it. And I seriously love every one of these scents. There is not a single scent that I ordered that I don't like. Like, I love them all. And, excuse me, like my hiccups. Oh my god. Um, they're all beautiful and autumn colored, but also they're very autumny scents and we're in autumn. So this is a perfect time for me to melt all of these. And then I'm super grateful for all of the freebies as well with this one. Like so generous. April is so lovely to include in so many freebies. So if you are interested, um, in having a look at pumpkin fossil scents if you've never seen them before uh they do ship worldwide um so if you are interested i'll leave a link down below uh just as for like disclaimer purposes yes i do know april april is a good friend of mine no i do not get any kickbacks for making these videos I don't get anything for free unless I tell you it is like these freebies, like everybody gets freebies in their orders. I did pay for this out of my own pocket. I did not get any of this for free. Just, you know, putting it out there um, because I am friends with April. 
and I love her business. I love to support her business. I think she is one of the best um, wax melt places in Australia because her scent range is just massive, but also she has such unique scent um, ranges as well. And like not trying to be like mean or anything to anyone else that has wax melts in Australia, but I find most wax melt companies in Australia have a very limited scent list. And I'm going to be honest with you, their scents are lovely and all, but the scents are pretty common because a lot of them order from the Australian fragrance oil places, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but unfortunately, Australia just doesn't have a vast list of scents where it is April um, she creates like these amazing scent combinations and does these collections and I just love 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 her stuff and I have so much of her stuff um, because of that reason like you can literally find anything you could possibly want and if you can't find it she has a custom section where you can ask her to create a custom scent for you. So there's that. So anyway guys, I am going to leave it here. I'm so excited for all of this. I'm gonna have to sort this out and put it away in my wax bolt drawers. Actually, to be honest with you, I don't think any of this is gonna fit in there, they're all full. I have eight drawers that are filled to the brim. This is why I said I only ordered 12 because I have too much. <laughs> But anyway guys, I'm going to leave you here, this uh, video has been long enough, I hope you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!